Um, but 10 years later, St Olympic Park is still well regarded for its environmental credentials. All our new developments are built on from the Olympic legacy in terms of the environmental factors. Um, all our new buildings are now not only five star, they're heading towards six star. We've the building on the, um, the water recycling systems, all those things we, we built, we built the platform. And so these things take time to come to fruition. We are now a much a thriving suburb um, of Sydney. When you look at the venues, the usage after the games, and even now, great success story. The regeneration and revitalisation of this area from a run-down, obsolete, polluted environment to one of the showcases of Sydney was always part of the planning of the Sydney. Because Sydney was the first Green Games. And what they did out here as part of um, this precinct, this whole area, was a part of that. One of the clear pieces of evidence of the success of Sydney Park is the number of people from overseas who are involved in staging events that want to come through for technical inspections, to talk about how to stage events. And so, in excess of 10 years later, they're still coming here. In fact, there's more coming of late. We've had people from, certainly from, from London, from Rio. For anyone that's doing a major event, we've had them from the Russian republics, from um, throughout Asia. And they're very interested to learn some of the success stories of the City Olympics. And especially, what to do after the event. Um, a 10-day sporting event is one thing, but the true, the true success is what happens after that 10-day event.